This is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Uchlenaut Coupe and this car sold for a whopping $143 million at auction, making it the most expensive car ever sold at auction. But why? Why is this car so special? Well, that's what I hope to answer in this video. So let's delve into the history of the car and its racing legacy. Built in the 1950s, this two-seater sports car participated in the 1955 World Sports Car Championship before its dominance was cut short by a tragic crash and fire at Le Mans. This car, commonly known as the SLR Sport Licht Rennen, was based on the successful W196R Formula 1 racer, but featured some modifications including a slightly different 3-litre engine. Yes, this thing was based on an F1 car of the time. The M196S engine of the 300 SLR was a direct injected 3 litre straight 6 engine with a power output of 310 horsepower and 311 newton meters of torque. Like in the W196R, this engine was canted to the right at 53 degrees to lower the car's profile, resulting in sleeker aerodynamics and a distinctive bulge on the passenger side of the hood shed with a streamlined type Monza Formula 1 car. The engine of the 300 SLR, the W196S, was also equipped with a unique valve configuration consisting of a single Desmotronic intake valve and a single Desmotronic exhaust valve per cylinder. These valves were controlled by two overhead camshafts driven by spur gears. To ensure efficient fuel delivery, the car utilized a direct fuel injection system with a mechanically driven 8-plunger inline injection pump provided by Bosch. Additionally, the W196S engine featured a dry sump lubrication system and cylinder sleeves made out of chromium coated aluminium. This combination offered improved lubrication and enhanced durability during high performance racing. Now one of the things that was changed from the F1 car was the actual fuel as the 196S engine was specifically designed to run on commercially available 98 Ron petrol unlike the 196R. A few other changes were also made from the F1 car. The monoposter driving position of the W196R Formula 1 racer was altered to accommodate two seats. Headlights were also added and other changes were made to transform it into a road track sports racer suitable for the 24 hour endurance races. Now this car was so good that renowned Formula 1 driver and former Mercedes-Benz team member Sterling Moss regarded the 300 SLR as an incredible machine, labeling it the greatest sports racing car ever built. During his racing career, the 300 SLR achieved several notable victories. Sterling Moss, accompanied by co-driver Dennis Jenkinson, set a record during the 1955 Mile Miglia, averaging 157 6 km per hour over a distance of 1,600 km. Moss's teammate Juan Manuel Van Gio finished second in another 300 SLR, demonstrating the car's dominance in that race, getting a first second finish. The 300 SLR also triumphed in other races, including the Tourist Trophy at Dundrod, Ireland, and the Targa Florio in Sicily, helping Mercedes secure victory in the 1955 World Sports Car Championship. However, this car's racing success was overshadowed by the tragic events at Le Mans. A horrific accident involving a 300 SLR driven by Pierre Lievig resulted in the deaths of Lievig and 83 spectators, making it the deadliest accident in motorsport history. Mercedes-Benz made the decision to withdraw from motorsport at the end of the 1955 season, putting an end to the 300 SLR's racing career. Beyond its racing accomplishments, the 300 SLR is also known for its limited production models. Two of the nine 300 SLR rolling chassis were converted into road legal race cars, known as Uchlenaut Coupes. These road legal races featured coupe styling with coal wing doors and represented a fusion of the 300 SLR and the 300 SL models. Rudolf Uchlenaut, the chief designer at Daimler-Benz, appropriated one of these cars as his personal vehicle while the other one was held at the museum. Now this car was capable of reaching speeds of up to 290 km per hour and the Uchlenaut Coupe became renowned as the fastest road car of its time. In recent years, a 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Uchlenaut Coupe achieved a significant milestone in automotive history. It was sold at an auction by RM Sotheby's for a staggering £135 million pounds or $143 million making it the most expensive car ever sold. 
Previously owned by Mercedes-Benz, the car now belongs to an undisclosed collector. This sale surpassed the previous record set by the Ferrari 250 GTO, which sold for $75 million. Now that we know the history of the car, as well as why it sold for so much, let's talk about the car. This thing features some genius design elements. For instance, the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR featured a front mid-engine layout, with the engine positioned behind the front axle, but ahead of the driver's compartment. This configuration helped to optimize weight distribution and improve the car's handling characteristics. The 300 SLR also incorporated innovative aerodynamic elements for enhanced performance. It featured a streamlined body with a low drag coefficient, which reduced area resistance and allowed the car to achieve higher top speeds. The iconic gullwing doors derived from the 300 SL road car not only added to the car's aesthetic appeal, but also improved aerodynamics by reducing turbulence around the cabin area. The suspension system of the 300 SLR utilized a combination of independent suspension at the front and a swing axle setup at the rear. This setup provided a balance between handling and stability, allowing the car to navigate various racing circuits effectively. The legacy of the Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR Uglenaut Coupe extends beyond its racing success and technological advancements. It has become an iconic symbol of automotive excellence and a highly sought-after collector's item. The limited production numbers, coupled with the historical significance and legendary status of the car, have contributed to its immense value and desirability among car enthusiasts and collectors worldwide. Although most of us will never be able to afford one um, and never see one since there's just like two. Let's end off the video. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SLR W196 remains one of the most iconic and influential sports racing cars in history. Its victories on the racetrack, technological advancements and limited production numbers have secured its place as a legendary automobile celebrated for its performance, design and excellence. Now at the end of it, let me know what you think of this car. Is it worth over $140 million or is that a bit too much? I actually do understand the price. This thing is gorgeous, super rare and has a rich racing legacy. It's just like $143 million is a number I can't get my head around. Um, I wish I could just get like a million, just one million. I would be very happy. So imagine having $143 to spend on a car. But yeah, let me know down below what you thought um, and let me know if you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you'll like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.